To start, I took this unfinished wooden crate that I got from Dollar Tree. And I love that it has the grooves on the side because when you have the crate upside down, it gives the illusion that there are three books stacked on top of each other. We want to go ahead and paint the entire crate with a coat of white paint. You can use chalk paint or acrylic paint. I just happen to have acrylic paint from Target on hand. So that's what I decided to go ahead and use. Once our white coat is completely dry, we want to go ahead and paint our three book spines. I chose the colors pink, orange, and purple. And when we paint our book spines, we actually want to try to be as careful as possible to not get any paint inside of the grooves. Those grooves are what gives the illusion that the books are stacked on top of each other and they're actually three separate books. My first book that I decided to paint was pink, so I needed to paint the top as well. My second book was orange, and as you can see, I was trying to be as careful as possible to not get any paint inside the grooves. And my last book was this pretty purple color. Now that our spines are dry, we need to give our books some pages. I had this light gray acrylic paint on hand. You can use chalk paint as well. Just use what you have. And I'm going to be dry brushing the gray paint along each of the sides of the crate in order to give the illusion or feel that our books have pages. Dry brushing just simply means you're taking a completely dry paintbrush, dipping it into paint, wiping off the majority of the paint onto a napkin or a piece of paper towel, and then just using brush strokes onto your surface. And you can do as much or as little as you want to give the feel or look that you're going for. Once everything was dry, I used my Cricut machine to cut out some vinyl in order to make decals for the titles of my books. If you don't have a vinyl cutting machine like a Cricut or a Silhouette, you can use some alphabet rub-on transfers or stickers that you can find at Dollar Tree or any craft store. Even better, if you love your handwriting, you can use a Sharpie or a paint pen and just handwrite the titles on your books. So I went ahead and weeded out my decals and I decided to go with magic spells and potions. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some low tack transfer tape in order to apply my vinyl decals to the spines of the books. For my first book, I decided to go ahead with the word magic. I think I actually decided to go alphabetically here. I think my OCD just really required it to be that way. And I also decided to put all of my words on the right side of my books. You can put them on the left side or centered as well if you like, but I'm going to embellish my book stack here in a little bit. And so I decided to go ahead and put all of my decals onto the right. Once all the decals are on, it's looking pretty good. And if you wanted to, you could leave it this way, but I decided I wanted to embellish mine just a little bit more. So to do that, I'm going to take some yarn, black and white twine, and my favorite wired star garland. 
I love mixing textures and patterns together, which is why I went with this combo. And to start, I decided to wrap the yarn a few times around the crate in order to get an idea of how much I was going to need to use. I then used that same piece of yarn as a guide to cut the same amount of black and white twine out of as well. I then took both of the yarn and twine at the same time and wrapped it a few times around the left side of the crate before tying it off in a knot and then a bow. I just love how the black and white pops off of this plum colored yarn. Once I trimmed off the edges, it looks really nice. And once again, you could leave it just like that, but I really just needed to add this star garland to my book stack. I love working with this wired star garland. It's actually from Amazon. There are so many colors it comes in and it's perfect for all year round. It's not just a holiday thing. It just, I love working with it. So I actually just used it like a twist tie and wrapped it around the knot and the bow and it just added the perfect little something extra that I needed. I made mine a little more on the pastel Halloween style. If you like more traditional colors, you could totally do that as well. Make it your own, just use this as inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. See you next time.